Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dom and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite tech for university. This video is ideal for anyone who may be starting their GCSEs. It's ideal for anyone starting college, university, or even if you're already attending. Now, just a bit of a side note, I know I'm wearing my University of Gloucestershire t-shirt. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I thought it would just be pretty cool and it will match the theme of this video. I wanted to start this video with something a little bit, well, not so much techy, but still a pretty cool gadget. And that something is this. Now, if you are following my channel, I've actually done a video about this very recently. This is the iBlock Cube, um, Cube extension lead. And if you are in the UK, like I am, it's absolutely perfect because it comes with five standard mains plugs. It also comes with two USB-C ports, one of which is 20 watts, and two USB-A ports. Now, this is absolutely something I wish I had at university because not only do quite a lot of student departments have a very small amount of plugs, but we're living in the 21st century and we, we have laptops, we have phones, some of us have tablets, maybe you have a telly, a monitor, um, the list just goes on. And Having something like this in your halls is really, really good. Now, I'm going to link that video up here um, for you to check my full review out of it. But I honestly think this is really, really cool. Now, this particular extension cord gives you three meters worth of cable, which if your plug socket is far away from where you need it to be, is actually very, very good. Now, not only that, but this extension lead comes with, put it aside, surge protection. It comes with overload protection. It comes with lightning protection, which we don't get very often in this country, but it's still a good thing to have. And other than that, the design is space saving. So you can have it on top of your desk, you can have it underneath of your desk, and it won't slide off either because you've got these nice little pads here, which will stop it from sliding off. It just keeps it very sturdy on the table. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it just keeps it very sturdy on the table. It's an item that I use myself and I highly, highly recommend investing in. Now, moving on to something a little bit more essential to a university student or any other student for that matter, and that's the laptop. Now, this is the Huawei MateBook D15. It is a absolutely brilliant laptop, which I have reviewed in the past. If you want to check out my video, I'll leave it linked up above. Now this is the variation with the Intel i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM and the 500 gigabyte solid state drive or SSD. And I think that this is actually a really good laptop. I mean, specification wise, it's not one of the greatest laptops out there, but it is a very decent laptop and I use it for all sorts of stuff such as video editing and even writing blog articles or um, all sorts of other things whenever I'm out and about and I need something with windows on it I tend to take this with me now this laptop isn't going to win any prizes in terms of overall comfort although I must admit the trackpad and the keyboard have grown on me I absolutely love typing on this laptop now I think that this is a absolutely brilliant budget laptop perfect for students it comes with all sorts of different options such as AMD processors slightly higher spec processors as well as lower spec processors Now, what I used to do is I used to connect this to a monitor, uh, when, not this particular one, but I used to connect my laptop to a monitor and that allowed me to have more real estate on my desktop as well as work better. Now, with that, I also used a external mouse and keyboard. Now, at this present moment in time, I'm using something that all YouTubers use. Now, this is the Logitech MX Master 3, but obviously this is quite an expensive mouse and as a student I don't expect you to buy anything as good as this. Um, I also currently use this bad boy here. So this is the Keychron K2 keyboard. Highly, highly recommend a mechanical keyboard because it just feels so much better to type on. 
But at the end of the day, typing on your keyboard is just so much more comfortable because you just get to sit down and get on with it, especially if you're using a monitor because you don't have to sort of uh, type. Any keyboard is really a good keyboard. I tend to recommend this Logitech set here. That's a device that I have used before and is of really good quality. You even get some multimedia keys above here to make life a lot easier and you have a power switch the mouse itself is also of reasonable comfort and it will beat typing on that laptop keyboard which is quite important in my view anyway now moving on to something a little bit more different I recommend getting your own printer now just a little bit of a word of advice I highly recommend checking with your university to make sure that your halls of residence support wireless printers. If not, you will have to set it up as a wired printer. But this is one that I used at university. In fact, I've used a few versions below this one. This is my current uh, home printer. This is just a HP printer. I can't remember which model this is. It's a very basic printer. Oh, yes, it does. HP DeskJet 2710E. So this is the uh, printer that I currently use. It's a very basic printer. It also comes with a scanner and a photocopier built in, which is really, really good. But the reason I recommend getting HP printers is because of their HP Instant Ink subscription, which is like a monthly ink plan. And from what I remember, they um, calculate how much ink you use by the amount of pages that you print. From what I remember, they monitor the amount of pages you print and whenever your ink gets low, they'll send you a new ink cartridge set out, which is pretty good, and it's cheaper than buying several sets of ink cartridges. Okay, now moving on to a product which I think has changed my overall university experience, and that's the iPad. Now, initially, I just started off with a very basic iPad, I had a first gen Apple Pencil with it as well as that's the only one that was compatible and my light is blinking at me crazy. But yeah, uh, when I graduated from the University of Gloucestershire, I decided that as a bit of a treat, I'm going to get myself an iPad Pro and it's quite a while ago so it is the 2020 edition. Unfortunately, I wish I waited so I have the M1 iPad but I think it's still a really good iPad and and this is it it's actually my main computer this if you don't read my blog i'll leave a link down below to an article where i talked about my ipad becoming my main computer it's just really convenient it not only is it small but it's also very light and you can take it anywhere with you and you can do most things on it i even use this for video editing believe it or not now as a student an iPad is really good because well let's I'm going to start by talking about how I used it so starting off with note taken uh, when I'm in the lectures I just used my Apple Pencil this is the second gen Apple Pencil but initially I used the first gen and I just took handwritten notes on it I started off using OneNote which was really really good but then I moved on to GoodNotes which unfortunately is paid software uh, but the experience is just so much better uh, for me anyway um, I also use another app which is paid called Notability and I use that to annotate well, academic papers and all sorts of other things including uh, printouts of certain pages from books um, it just made life so much easier and I no longer had a need of carrying all sorts of paperwork with me whenever either the lecturer or the or, or I, I had a handout, I would just scan them in using Microsoft Lens and then I would annotate them with my Apple Pencil. It made life so much easier and not only that, it's more environmentally friendly. Now one thing I wish I discovered sooner was the paper-like screen protector which is absolutely one of the best investments I made for my iPad Pro. It's a screen protector, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's got a bit of a tint on to it but it makes your iPad feel more like paper so when you type on it honestly it really feels like paper so for example that felt literally so close to paper 
and the overall experience of typing with this screen protector is just so much so much better than typing on plastic you really have to be here to try this yourself to understand how good it feels another thing which i highly recommend getting for university is a decent set of headphones now these are the actual set i use at university and they're really good not only are they not only is the sound quality really good but they are extremely comfortable as well if i'm working in a library or if i'm working on public transport you put these on and they literally block out so much noise they have active noise counseling and they're very comfortable to wear uh, the only downside to this, but then again it is an older product, is the fact that it's got micro USB as a charger. But as a set of headphones, they are so comfortable. Now, any Sony product is really good. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Sony headphones in general, but these are just so comfortable. Now, I fully get that if you're a student, um, you know, you might not want to spend so much money. I spent about, what, nearly 200 pounds on these. If you are a student, obviously you may be looking for a cheaper alternative. Now, I recommend any of Anchors over here. Now, these are the active noise cancelling headphones that I recommend on a budget, and I have actually used these before. They are the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30, and they're actually really comfortable to wear, and the sound quality is really decent. And I must admit as well, I am a fan of this sort of style. They just look really, really nice. Yeah, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And if you are interested in any of the products I mentioned in this video, check out the links down below where you will find Amazon links to the products. And if you do decide to purchase any of the items there, you'll also be supporting the channel.